So I'm going to make a quick eat meal real quick. I'm ready to feed my family. My husband has to go to work. So I'm going to throw something together that's real quick and easy. So what we're going to make is angel hair pasta with chicken and broccoli. So I have four boxes of the angel hair pasta here. You can chop yours yourself if you want, but I just went and got the, the taco style chicken meat. And then I got a nice head of broccoli. And then we will top it with some Parmesan cheese. If you want that, you don't have to, but I figure my family likes cheese. They'll probably want some Parmesan cheese on top. So the first thing that we need to do is to wash and chop our broccoli. Yes, you can use frozen broccoli if you want. I don't want to use frozen broccoli, I'm going to do fresh broccoli. So I'm going to wash and I'm going to chop this broccoli head up really quick. Um, another thing real quick is you want to have a nice pan to saute the broccoli and the chicken in. And then you want to have a large pot to boil your water in. You boil your noodles according to the instructions on the box, okay? When I'm in the kitchen, this is not a, a recipe that I'm following, so I season things the way I want to season, but what I'm going to use is olive oil for the sauteing, some salt, some pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic seasoning, and of course, as I always use, my seasonal salt. I don't live without this stuff. If you want to just use regular salt and pepper, you can. I'm not an only regular salt and pepper kind of gap. so anyway, I'm going to wash and chop this uh, head of broccoli. Okay, so washed my head of broccoli and what I'm gonna do, and this is one of the reasons why I like to use fresh broccoli, is because whatever I don't put in the recipe, we can save and put it in the salad later. Or we can eat it with some dip or eat it with just some lemon, salt, and pepper. Whatever you wanna do with it, but that's why I like to get a nice big fresh head of broccoli because you're not gonna eat frozen broccoli by itself. So just cut, if you're using fresh, all the heads of broccoli off and then chop them down to a bite size side a bite size size no pun intended just gonna cut these down to some smaller pieces and just throw them in my bowl okay so I got a large stir fry pan pan i'm using my deeper pan i'm going to saute the chicken and the broccoli but we're going to start with the chicken so you want to use with a large drizzle i'm going to use a really large drizzle because i am baking two pounds of that taco chicken meat and it was more than i thought it would be like i didn't expect it but i'm going to cook all of it and I need a nice, I'm going to use this to saute it. Okay, so I'm going to use a nice large drizzle. Okay, so if you want, you can season it before you put it in and mix it in, but I'm just going to season it while it's in the pan. Not like you're gonna be tasting raw chicken anyway. Maybe the garlic powder. Little Himalayan pink sea salt. And just mix it up. Now, you want the brown? I have this chicken on a medium high heat. And I'm going to cook it until it's getting brown. So, however many minutes it takes for this to get brown. So, I have that on medium high heat. I want to stir it to make sure that the seasoning gets on all of this in pieces. So I'm stirring it. Mm. 
Mmm, it does smell good. Garlic always smells good. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a while so it can brown. And while I do that, Lexi prepared the water that we need for our angel hair pasta noodles. So we'll wait. That That's only gonna take a few minutes to cook. So I wanted to, we'll let the water come to a boil, but I wanted to get this going because this is gonna take the longest. Here's our broccoli. I only grabbed one head for that amount of chicken. So I'll probably cook all of this broccoli. But if I weren't going to cook all of it, I would take some and um, put it in the refrigerator and put it in the salad. But this was just one head. It was a big head, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be too much or not, but I'd rather have too much than too little. And it looks like it's just enough. So we'll wait, because I'm not gonna put that in here till the chicken is pretty much done, because that's only gonna take a few minutes. And then we'll get the noodles going. All right guys, so when this is done, what I've decided, I'm not gonna put the raw broccoli in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in a bowl um, once it's pretty much done and set it to the side. Then I'm gonna put some more olive oil in this pan, wipe it out, put some more olive oil in it, and then saute my broccoli separate by itself. And then when the broccoli is just about done enough, I'll add the chicken to the broccoli. And then those noodles should be getting done, so I'll probably mix that in this pan too. So it's gonna be a lot going on in this pan. But this is what where we're at with it now. Chicken is cooking, smelling good. I'm just gonna let that cook. Alright, so this chicken is pretty much done, so I'm gonna move the chicken over to this bowl and then wipe this out, and we're gonna use this same pan. Or our butter. Hot, hot chicken. There we go. Got a little brown going in there too. That's what I wanted. But I did, guys, I poured the juice off of it first because there was a lot of juice. And I'm going to use that juice to help season like having a little broth. Just gonna wipe out as much as I can wipe out. It's pretty, it's fine for the most part because that's just gonna be more flavor. So. Okay. Another drizzle of olive oil. Take the broccoli, pour that in. Saute. I want to season the broccoli a little bit, a little salt and pepper if you want. I want the little Himalayan pink salt. Use whatever salt you want. That's just the salt that I'm using right now. A little bit of pepper. tends to have a nice lush color when you start to cook it. It gets like really, really green when you see how light green that's getting. The coloring. Won't be long now. Won't be long now. I'm going to pour the chicken and the juice back in. And mix that broccoli and the chicken up together for a little while. Mm -hmm. 
back in there. All right, so that's done. So all that's really left to do are the noodles. But you think you should put some cheese in there, Lex? A little bit? In there? Yeah. There? Little bit. At the end, we'll put some cheese in there. So I'm gonna turn it down because that's just about done. And I'm gonna cover it. And then we're going to get these noodles going. These only need to cook for a few minutes. Um, actually, four minutes. So when these are done, the plan is to pour them in with the chicken and the broccoli. That's my third hand. Okay, so when the noodles are done, let it sit for about three minutes so that the sauce can thicken up before, but you don't want it to completely thicken because you won't be able to mix the rice and the chicken. And then you pour that in with your broccoli and your chicken. And then you mix it up. Mix it up nice, nicely. The sauce is going to continue to thicken, guys. So just mix this up really good. It's already done, everything is done. And then um, the last thing is to put some Parmesan cheese. So I'll put that on top once I transfer some of this to plates. want to make sure that it's mixed good so that you're not getting sections with only broccoli and chicken and only noodles. I want there to be some noodles and some broccoli and some chicken. Every bite. If you guys really want to fancy this dish up, you can get yourself some fresh parsley and put some parsley on top. I would have thought about that earlier. I would have done that because I like parsley. I always garnish with more than what they tell you too because I like to eat it. I think it has really good flavor and it would have added some really good flavor to this. So try the parsley. If you do try the parsley, let me know in the comment section how that turned out for you. Okay, so I'm going to turn the heat off. Look at that, guys. That looks yummy, doesn't it? And then I'm going to take some of the Parmesan. Let me put some of that Parmesan on there. All right, that's hot. That Parmesan is going to melt. So while I am getting the plates to prepare the dish, I'll put the lid on that. And then that'll be melting. And I'll be setting up the plates. So while the plates are being set and I put it on there, the cheese will be melted up now. If they want to, they can put some extra cheese on at the end. I would probably put extra cheese on mine. Or they can just eat it like that. All right. Okay, guys. Now, if you look at this, the cheese looks like the noodles almost, actually. Get in there and see. The cheese is melted that was only in a couple minutes because this is hot and I'm going to transfer this to my plate now. Mmm, that looks delicious. So, transfer it to a plate. Mm -hmm. You know what else would be good in this, guys? I'm just getting creative now. I would like to throw some mushrooms in there. That would be delicious. My family doesn't like mushrooms really, so I wouldn't do that for them. 
But man, oh man, for myself, that would be the way to go. I'm gonna garnish this again, a little bit of cheese. Oh, this smells so good. I know it's going to taste good. Um, but that's the recipe, guys. So if you enjoyed this recipe, if you tried it, let me know. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's not very convincing. What do you think, Aaron? You like it? I'm just gonna say that silence speaks volumes in this house when it comes to food. Nobody's saying anything, it must be good.